each opportunity that you have to spend those moments, whether it be minutes, seconds, whatever. It is gratifying and it is captivating. In 10 days, we are planning on hunting four states. There's no breaks. There's no stops. obviously everything to do with the bird, but it's the experience that drives you. I'm existing from June through February. March, April, and May is when I'm alive. It's impossible for me to see another way of life. You don't go after it unless those things are innate within you, and I think there's there's a common variable between us all. I turkey hunt more than most people I know. I feel like I turkey hunt an awful lot for somebody who has a wife and kids and a job. The obsessive factor is kind of elevated for, for turkey hunters for some reason. I think maybe that's what makes it a little different. Dave Owens is obviously a very talented and special turkey hunter. If you yeah. were genuinely having this conversation with me at a bar, yeah. I mean, the only thing I'd say differently is Dave Owens is a bad man. These guys that do this, they dedicate their lives to it. And there's parts of me that wants to be like them, frankly. I don't want to be the best turkey hunter. I'm not, I don't want to kill the most turkeys. There are guys that are much better turkey hunters than me, and there's guys that are going to continue to kill a lot more turkeys than me. It's, it's not about that. It's just a neat, it's just a neat thing to do. We hunted in Nevada our first morning. We killed our turkeys. We packed up, drove 14 hours. Got to Arizona at about two in the morning. We slept in the truck for a few hours that night. We got out of the truck the following morning before daylight and got dressed and started hunting. You never really are off. Is it healthy now? You understand that that's just the price you pay. So it's just a little bit of added pressure, and it's pressure that, that you put on yourself. Time is something that is precious, and you have to make sacrifices so that the time that you have available is spent doing the things you want to pursue.
as it was getting tougher and we were up against our uh, deadline of going to the next state. Keith and I together made a decision that we would give it one more morning and then it was time to go to Utah. Naturally, when you come across some tough hunting, you start to question yourself. We split up that morning. I ended up killing a turkey that morning. Uh, and Keith worked that turkey again, but, uh, but, couldn't, but couldn't get him killed. And it was time to go to Utah. Well, you know what they say around here. If they don't talk, you drive around to you gotta drive around to you see them. If you're having a trip and you're not getting in turkeys, if you let that get in the way, cast a shadow over your trip, you kind of miss the point of the whole thing. Turkey hunting is one of the very few types of hunting that you can walk back to the truck empty-handed and still have a smile on your face. Puffed out. Puffed out. Puffed out. We left Arizona going to Utah. We expected to find, um, we didn't know what we were going to find. And one of the last spots that we were checking just because of the time of day, we heard a, a turkey gobble. It's two. You're just up there. Turkeys have excellent hearing and better eyesight. The hunter has to be extremely still. If you move an ungloved hand when a turkey's coming in, the chances of him seeing that are excellent. He becomes very, very suspicious of the whole thing and he starts to move very slowly. I, I don't know how you even describe it. And they can't understand the feeling and the high and the sense of accomplishment and fulfillment that you get from that. There's just something about it that 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 draws that draws me in, and I do it as much as I can between March and June. And when turkey season is over, I wish I could turn back the clock three months and start over again. It's only so many days you can do this, and there's only so many experiences available to us in a lifetime. It is up to you to figure out how you're going to spend those minutes or those days hunting turkeys.